Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle, and welcome back to Legends of the Breath of the Wild. We're here at next to Rito Village, I guess. That's a little strange angle to look at that pillar. And now, we're gonna try and do a few things around here. Keel. Grr. My sisters are dumb dummies. They promised we'd sh re rehearse together, but no one showed up. We have to perform our song for the Elder at, at Warbler's Nest. We're going to be laughed off the stage. Hey you, you look like I can use you. <laughs> that is to say, you look like a nice guy who likes to help people in need. Can you tell my sisters in Rito Village to stop ditching rehearsal? They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary looking Hylian like you. Although, Genli might be a tough sell. She's probably in the kitchen yelling. I want some summon. Oh, I don't even know. Or something like that. She doesn't want to sing either. She's such a pain. Okay. Rehearse at Wobbler's Nest. And now we need to actually get the rest of that going. Okay, let's go and have a look. You found Keel? So she's at Wobbler's Nest after all. Phew. She really made made me worried. Had had me worried. Thank you for letting me know. Please take this for your trouble. Got a purple rupee. I feel much better now that I know where she is. Thank you. You can probably you could probably see her from here. Or maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, we need to do the recital at Warbler's Nest. So let's see what we can do. If I can figure out where in space I need to be. Is it just... It's probably just the entrance to tell me that I need to be around the village somewhere. Or maybe it's down here. This is probably more likely. Hurry, hurry! I need someone. I don't, I don't know how to do that. In my belly. I know Keel wants me to practice singing with her, but I just can't. Not until I get my summon. Monterey? I don't know. My sister's already left to get summon Monterey ingredients. I told them I wouldn't sing until I get it. I didn't expect them to actually make it for me, though. I don't want to practice singing, but I really do want some yummy salmon monterey. What is, take, what is taking my sisters so long? I thought they were just going to the slippery falcon. What does that mean? I don't, uh, I don't know what that means. Is that the name of a place? I'm guessing it is. Yeah, the slippery, the slippery Falcon. We have the best deals in the West. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I brought some. I bought some goat butter. Huh? Rehearsal? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> if I give you this goat butter, will you make some salmon Monterey? Monterey for Genli. She should be in the kitchen. She said she won't sing until she's eaten. Our older sister... Uh, our older sister, Knots, is probably practicing her song somewhere up high. Knots left to catch some hearty salmon. She's probably fishing at the pond near the entrance to the village. Okay. So we have a few places to go. So let's head up for now. This is a long way to go up. A long, long way up. I think I need to climb up somewhere around here, though. Oh my goodness. This is going to be difficult, isn't it? 
like in here. La la lu lu la 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 lu lu la 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 la. I call it song. Return of the bird. Uh, wrangling hero. First movement. Thank you for listening. What singing rehearsal at Warbler's Nest? I didn't forget. I just uh, it's just that Genli really wanted some summon Monterey. So my sisters and I have been looking for ingredients. I finished early, so I was practicing here to kill time. I feel bad we left Kiel waiting, though. I really should head over to rehearsal. Well then, I guess I'll give you the Tabantha wheat to you. Please make the best salmon monorail for Genli. She says she can't sing on an empty stomach, but I'm pretty sure that's just an excuse. Well, good luck. Okay. So now let's head out this way. Say hello to you. Hiya, hiya! I'm fishing for hearty salmon. Huh? What are you doing here? What rehearsal? Ah, I totally forgot. I was too focused on catching these fish. Kiel's going to kill me. Please take this hearty salmon and go make some salmon monorail for Genli. Hopefully she'll feel like singing after she has some. Take. Okay. So let's go make a meal, I guess. And hopefully I don't mess it up because I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna get it wrong. I was given the ingredients to do it, but I, I'm still gonna do it wrong. Up we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Please actually climb up the way I want you to climb up, Link. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can actually get this right. The first try. Doubtful, but I need goat butter. Tabantha wheat and... Hashi salmon. Please... Oh, I can't carry any more meals, of course I... Ah! I want speed. That's actually kind of funny that it's not going to allow me to cook the, what I need, because I have a full inventory. Okay, cook. There we go. Hurry, hurry! I need someone on a rare. Sniff, 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 sniff. I mean... <sighs> That's amazing smell! Could it be? Sa- Sa- Salmon Monore? If you're going to ha- uh, le Let me have some- you're <laughs> Ah! Words are hard. You're going to let me have some, right? Right? Enjoy. No, it's all mine. Yay! Time to dig in. I'm stuffed. Hmm? My promise to my sisters? I suppose I shouldn't break my promise. I really do like singing, but I am too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have serious stage fright, but maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Anyway, thank you for the amazing salmon... Manere. It was so soft and flaky and delicious. I'll give this rehearsal my all. Come listen later. I hope that's everything I needed to do. Looks like it. Go back to Wobbler's Nest and check everything. Easy enough. But first let me break pottery. It's 
It's nice having the speed up, I guess, even though I don't really need it. But I needed the space, so... Wasn't much I could do about it. And it's a double speed up, so that's extra good. So fast. Also, it looks like there could be some Koroks around here if I paid attention. But I'm just going to focus on what I'm doing right now. Oh, thank you so much. All of my sisters are here. Now we can rehearse here at Wobbler's Nest. Want to uh, know what song we're rehearsing? Or singing? Well, the elder told me. If the song passed down in the Rito village that was once sung at Warbler's Nest in ancient times. If you didn't know, Warbler's Nest is the big stone platform uh, with the pillars behind us. The lyrics don't make a lot of sense, but there's one line in particular that always catches my ear. When wind con uh, convinces the rocks to sing, Open the monk's door, we'll, we'll swing. What do you think that means? What's a monk? Oh, and I almost forgot. I got a little something. Just a small thanks for bringing all my sisters here. Ta-da! A Korok leaf. Hey, your inventory is overflowing. You should... You should toss any melee items you don't need. Thank you for the cork leaf. Now. Ta-da! A cork leaf! Why don't you swing it in the direction of Warbler's Nest? It makes a fun noise. Okay, well... I need to actually figure out what it is now. Oh my goodness. Hang on. It's fun singing together, even if we don't know the lyrics. Now they're gonna probably repeat that now. Which is nice. But now, based on the order that they're standing, and the order that they sing, we need to do that. So, the order, if I've got this right and actually know what I'm doing, is four, because this, this thing here has four things at the top. Well, what was that? I don't know what that was, but it's okay. That's a five, and now for three, one, two, and you also have to make sure the platform is blue, I think, when you're standing on it. You can't do it from further away, you have to actually be standing on the platform for it to work, so. There we go. Wow! Hey look, guys! Uh -huh. Huh? Was that weird looking house always there? Ah. No, that's... that shrine thing that the Elder was talking about. Ah. So cool, who knew that uh, Wobbler's Nest was, a, was keeping a secret like that? Let's tell Mum. Yeah, let's. Hi. 
See you later. Last one to mum is an unhatched egg. Ready, set, go. Well, that was certainly a thing. Anyway, that's a shrine quest complete, and now we have another shrine. It's not a blessing by the looks of it. So what is it? The Winding Route. Okay then, if I can get up all the way. Oh my goodness, how much ladder is there? <laughs> Why is there this much ladder? Okay. Oh, I'm locked in here. Okay. Whoa! Oh my goodness. I'm glad I managed to catch that in time. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it just drops me in here. I guess it explains why it starts off like that then. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, let's follow the wind then. If I can. Careful not to go into the spikes. Also, I'd, I would definitely have died if I didn't catch the wind. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Glide, 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 no! Why would it not accept me gliding when I've started trying to do it? Oh well, here we go again, and then I let go and glide some more. This is a fun shrine. Fun! So much fun. Fun. It's fun. Got a small key, so now we can get to that door now. Once we actually get back. I guess we can get back by doing that way. But if I go up this way, I think. Yeah, there's a chest over here. So let's go get that. A flame blade. This magical sword was forged in the lava of Death Mountain. I'm pretty sure we've already had one of those before, so I don't know why I was reading it, but it's because there's no room in my inventory, probably. Let's throw out this cork leaf. Because I don't need a cork leaf. If I need a cork leaf, I'll get a cork leaf. Jump! No! I don't like how if I'm like not over a pit, it won't allow me to glide. I want to just glide before jumping off. Is that too hard? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the end. Got all the chest in the shrine. Let's go. Okay. Now that that's done, let's head back up to the Rito Village. Okay. Okay, so let's see what else we can find here. Because I'm pretty sure all of the, the quests are linked to being here. You got the Great Eagle's Bow from the Elder, right? If you break or lose the Great Eagle Bow, I can make a new one for you. But if you need... But you will need to bring me a, a Swallow Bow, five bundles of wood, and a diamond. Okay, so that's how you get the thing back if you break it. And here's a Swallow Bow if you just need to do that, I guess. And this bow is a favorite among Rito Warriors. The bowstring was has been specifically engineered for aerial combat. 
which allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. So yeah, if you need a swallow bar, there's one here, and all you need other than that is five bundles of wood, and... Uh, what's it called? A diamond. So, fairly simple. Dad? <laughs> hmm. I see you've got the Great Eagle Bow from the Elder. That thing is way too heavy to use in aerial fighting. I'd end up sacrificing all of my speed just to take a shot. Now if I had both of both the strength and speed of Master of Ali, that would be a different story. But seeing the way you handled your... your bow against Meadow, I suggested we let you borrow the Great Eagle, Eagle Bow. Take it with you on your adventure along... Uh, with the respect of the Rito. Well then, my wounds are just about healed, so with uh, when Tulin wakes up, I think I'll take him to the flight range. I'm hoping Tulin no, uh, grows up to be a distinguished warrior like Master of Ali. That's actually very nice to hear. I haven't actually heard all of the, the story, the backstory, or well, the extra story with some of these things, so that's really cool. Champion Senator, a thousand times, thank you. But never mind that now. I'm happy to answer anything. No, I'm good. I'm very good, at, actually. I need to find other things around here. Somewhere? I think. Although maybe I'm wrong. I could just be wrong. I don't think I need to talk to you. So I guess then I could try heading towards that other... Um platform thing to try and work that out. Well, that reminds me, I think I didn't take out the the stamp here, so let me get rid of that. Also just a random Korok up here, I guess. There aren't that many in this region, and it's a small region, so... Actually, there is a... How many are, how many are in, the re, in the region? There's 37 Koroks in this region, and it's not a huge region, so I guess it's fairly easy to find them sometimes. But anyway, I need to go to that platform and see if there's any hints nearby about it. Okay, it's just a platform here. Nothing obvious nearby about what to do about it. Oh my goodness. Stop. Stop. Just stop. There we go. Yeah, I don't know where to find the information for this shrine thing. I'm pretty sure it's probably up at the village. But I don't know who's going to tell me about it. Oh, there's his parts. Way over here. There we go. Yeah, I might have to head back up then. Since there's not anything down here to tell me what I need to do. Also, just quickly, I'm going to head up to the top. Okay. Let's start heading down. But there's also... a little bit further down here. A little hole over here with a little extra thing right there. So let's pop that and possibly die. <laughs> and there's a Korok there. Now let's back to where Link was, falling down rapidly. Um, let's see if we can find anything of use. Also, I might actually... How close am I to the... the no, it's down there, okay. 
Let's just quickly start a fire if I can. And let's sit here until morning. Oh, wow, that bush burned all night. Now, let me see what changed. Did nothing change? Oh, also, there's a person here. Hello. Morning, morning. Well, I just realized that you're a Hylian. You're a Hylian. You just wandered around Hyrule trying to find find yourself? Uh, yes. I'm here on my honeymoon, but this town is seriously... Uh, a hole. In Gruda Town, they've got jewelry to buy. Zora's Domain is always a hoot with all of the weird uh, spiritual fish people. But here, I just want to go home already. Oh, really? Give me a break already. I can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. He already apologized, but if he doesn't uh, want to divorce, I told him he'd better bring me a baked apple. I mean, I could I could bring you the apple of my eye. I can bring bring you a, a baked apple. In fact, I think if I Get an apple out, and then drop, and then flame blade. <laughs> yeah, I can just bake an apple on the go. Here, have baked baked apple. I know that smell. You've got a baked apple. Can I have one? I'll give you a present. Sure thing. You serious? Cheers. Just hold out your hand. Silver rupee. Now, if only I could get my husband to cook me a baked apple every once in a while. I've got a second stomach and a hollow leg for baked apples. Bring me as many as you possibly can. What does this mean? Does this mean I can just bring you more for more money? Can I have five? I'll give you a present. I've just happened to have five. <laughs> okay, it wasn't as many, many rupees, but I guess that's still a way to get rupees from apples. Um, pillar in the sky. Hey. Morning. Now that Divine Beast Varmeadow has calmed down, the village is peaceful once again. Mm. Seems like everyone in the village is thinking about going on vacation. Uh. Uh. So you seem to have a bit of information that I need, but I need to figure out how to get that information from you. I guess I'd like to use your cooking pot. No, nope. okay then. Also, they all of the baby birds sleep here except for the other one upstairs. They're so cute. Warm garb here. Don't think that's where I need to be. Don't think even here. I don't know where I need to be, and it's concerning me. Open beds. Who's gonna give me information? I need information. Are you gonna give me information? Oh. Hey, morning. I'm glad Meadows has settled down now. Uh, but I have bigger problems. My mum sa said she wants me to take over the family store someday. Can you believe that? I don't want to just help. Oh. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Um, I don't know how to get the information. You're a traveler? There was a, this big 
beast called Divine Beast Farmetto flying above the village up until a while ago. But someone took care of it and things have finally settled down. Yeah, Divine Beast Farmetto is uh, perched above this the village now. It has not moved an inch since it stopped there. I'm surprised that rock there can support all that weight. I'm surprised too. It does look like it should not be able to support that massive bird. Anyway, I think that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.